I let's see the solution of problem number 2.15. Here an NMOS is given where to operate that NMOS in saturation condition for given width length. We need to find all capacitances. Let's start. So, first of all, this is an NMOS. This is the front view of NMOS. This is the top view of NMOS. You will see where width is coming, where, where length is coming, where E is coming. So, this is the connection to drain, but effectively, this all part is drain. Okay, so this one is E. Alright, the original NMOS was this one. The overall width is W. This is the length. This NMOS was, was cut from middle and this portion set here. And drain was common between these two fingers. This one is width by 2. Right, this one is length. Of course, this one is length. This one is E. Look at here. This is the source drain, source again, and this is the end well and this well. Right. So if you will see from the top, the dotted line. This one, this one. So, this dotted line is actually a drain. This one is the source. This one is the source again. So, this one is the length. Right? Due to diffusion, the doping and plus doping will go slightly under the data and this one will be L D. Same way here, same way here, same way here. Okay, this one is not E. Okay, look at here. Consider this duster is a source well. So from front view, you are seeing like this and this one. For this view, you are seeing here. Okay. So we know that uh, the plate capacitance per unit area is Cj. So if you will find the area of this and if you will multiply it with Cj, you will be able to get the capacitance by this down area. For, for this surface, the capacitor per unit length is CJSW. If you will find the perimeter of this rectangle and if you will uh, multiply it with CJSW, you will get the capacitance because of this surface. Here, only one drain and we need to find the capacitance between drain and bulk. So here will be one cap and this will be under caps. So CDB will find that. So if you will see here, the area is E into width by 2. This is an area into CJ. Because if you will see the well alone here is the CJ and this capacitance is CJS W plus the perimeter of this that is E plus width by 2 into 2 why? E W by 2 again E again W by 2 right so E plus W by 2 again E plus W by 2 so E plus W by 2 into 2 into C G S W 
Don't worry about this one. We will see how to calculate that. Next is C source bulk E into W by 2 into 2 because there is another source also into Cj. Of course, 2 2 will cancel. You can do that. Plus E W by 2 E W by 2 2 times. So E plus W by 2 2 2 into 2. Remember one thing. This is very important. This Cj and this Cj is not same. This Cjsw and this Cjsw are not same. Why? We will see. This one is dependent on Br, the reverse voltage of this junction. This junction. This is Pn junction, right? The reverse voltage of that is coming in the equation of this one. So, Br will be different from drain to source, right? That's why these are not same. So, for drain bulk, we will see. We will write C prime, C prime JSW, CJ prime, CJSW prime. Okay. Okay. Now, coming to C gate drain, CGD. CGD is W C overlap. This equation is given in the book. Then C G S that is two by three um, plus W C O. Now coming to C eight bulk. This will be smaller one and of lower interest, but still we will see how to find that from gate to bulk. Right, so here is the first capacitance. Oh, actually, let me change it. And from depletion region to well, there will be another capacitance. Let's call C1 and C2. So, from gate to well, the effective capacitance will be C1, C2, C1 plus C2. The equation of C1 and C2 are available in the book. You can refer that. If you are a circuit designer, this equation will not be frequently used. But if you are working at device level, that means if you are uh, making the device itself or in maybe TK or something, then this uh, physics will be very important for you. You need to say these equations more deeply. Moving further, E we have. Width we have Cj prime we don't have. Right? So how to find here? Cj is Cj O over 1 plus Br upon built in potential of this junction in uh, raised to Mj. This raised to is in denominator. Okay, so this one is available in the table, uh, table of spice model. We are, you need to take from your condition of NMOS in your circuit. Built-in potential is available in the table, you can take it. M3 is also available in the table, so this is available, this is available, this will be available, we are, will be available soon, so we will be able to calculate this one. So, E is available, width by 2 is available. Same way what we did with Cj, we can do the same thing with Cjsw with this equation. Instead of J, you can replace by, you can replace Jsw. Cjsw O will be available in table. We are, again, we will going to calculate. Uh, Building quotation we, we have. And instead of Mj, we will have Mjso. And just a So the equation will look, look like this. Okay. 
This one is available in table, spice model table. Um, this one is available. This will again going to see from the condition of animals, and this one is available. So this equation you will calculate. I mean the value of uh, C D B you will able to calculate. Same goes for this one. Here C J will be having different V R for the source bulk junction. You will able to calculate that. Of course, this other values you will able to calculate from the table and given equations. The values of respective variables. Of C1 and C2, you will be able to get from table. So you will be able to calculate the value of CGB. It's kind of kind of boring uh, calculation, but for an exam perspective, you can still do that. Designers don't need to go this much deep inside the capacitance, but you can just see that the difference between CGB and CGS. CGS capacitance. In the saturation will be more compared to CGV. From this, this is the important takeaway for designers.